Johnny here, AKA The Spilt Ink, the one and only. And um, I'm here to talk about a couple of things. First thing is um, I was in the States for a little bit and I was in the beautiful state of Michigan. Mwah, love you, Michigan. It was great, fantastic. Got to hang out with a lot of cool people. And um, yeah, I'm back in Tokyo. It's a beautiful cold day in Tokyo and God, I love cold Tokyo. Hot Tokyo, too hot, too humid, too much. Cold Tokyo, two thumbs up. Oh man, yeah, when Tokyo cools down, man, I just feel alive. When it's too hot and humid, I just wanna stay inside and work. Speaking of work, I came back to Tokyo about a week ago. I came back just in time to paint at the Fix events and I wanna say Fix, your event is amazing. Amazing DJs, fantastic te techno. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, exotic dancers. And the one problem is with these beautiful exotic dancers is when I'm painting, it's too hard to focus on my painting because they're just right there next to me. And I just want, I just want to say, ladies, please stop. I'm trying to focus on my life's work. Please just put your clothes on and go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Somebody buy me a stiff drink. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the the Fix events are always amazing. And uh, Fix, if any of you guys, I, mean, there's, I know you guys are a big crew and stuff, but uh, thank you very much for continuing to book me. And I promise I'll work hard and make the best work I can for you. Um, also next week, uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna come out in time, this is October 1st, but uh, next week or the week after next, on October 11th, I'll be painting at Drum and Bass Sessions in Tokyo. And that event is also going to be fantastic. They have amazing DJs uh, from the UK, usually, sometimes from the States. And uh, yeah, it's strictly German bass and dubstep. And man, phenomenal times are going to be had. And uh, that the, I've got a, a painting that, oh man, it's going to take years off my life because it's going to be fantastically difficult <laughs> to do. But it's going to be well worth it. Um, I'll make a video about that soon. Uh, speaking of paintings, um, I want to talk a little bit about my new style. I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been doing a lot of live painting and I've been doing fine art painting um, for years, for years and years and years now. I've been the spilt ink for ages. Uh, there's a lot of spilt inks out there now, but uh, I'm the original. And um, when I started, I, I started off only doing like kind of like a fine art kind of stuff, right? Fine art, comic -y kind of stuff. And then from there, I kind of moved over to live painting. And um, I tried to keep the two completely separated for a long time. You know, I wanted one style to be one style and the other style to be another style, right? As you know, it's just what I wanted, right? But after time, they started blending together. Slowly but surely, they started blending together. And uh, that leaves me with my series that I just finished. And um, I made a series of two paintings. I'm not sure if I can call it a series, but I am. And these two paintings are, well, I guess I could call these, this series, Cyberpunk. And Cyberpunk is basically, but Cyberpunk is basically like really hardcore, gritty, dark, kind of science fiction-esque novels, I guess. All right, let's go with novels. And um, two of my favorite authors are William Gibson and Phil Kiddick. They've made books that have completely changed my life. Techno music and, and these two authors basically made me the guy is who I am. Without these two authors and without techno music, I might be rich. <laughs> I might be successful and rich. I might be a doctor, you know. Mm. But anyway, regardless, I love these two authors. And um, yeah, without further ado, right here, I've got Philip K. Dick. Now... This right here is a portrait of Philip K. Dick when he's uh, older in life. I, I think he's probably about maybe late 40s, early 50s. I think he died in his mid 50s. And um, you might know Philip K. Dick from um, some of his novels, which became movies. Uh, for example, let's see, uh, Total Recall, uh, of course, Blade Runner, uh, A Scanner Darkly, Minority Report. But I mean, he's, he's made so many other fantastic like books that are just, I mean, if you've seen these movies, don't read the novels first. Read some of his other books and really fall in love with those, like really just devour those and then move on to like, I mean, something that you might know of, like for example, Total Recall, because like all his books, or at least most of them are really, really, really cool. 
So I've got this with Philip K. Dick, and uh, this is cool because I use not only just like kind of like standard acrylics, but I also have a lot of um, uh, fluorescence in here. And I did that because what I wanted to do is have like a painting that looks cool as like a standard painting. For example, like the Mona Lisa, what you see is what you get, right? But however, when you add like add a black light over this or other different kinds of lights, for example, like a black light or a red light or a green light or orange light or a purple light and stuff like that, it picks up certain pigments from the painting and it changes the mood of the painting. Kind of as if the, the painting is actually kind of like a, a movie and is telling a story, right? And I did that, my, my idea behind doing that was that like a person is very, very, very complicated. All people are, even the most boring people on the earth or they've gotta be very complicated one way or another, or at least some of them anyway. But um, this guy was a very complex person who had a lot of interesting ideas and had a lot of interesting life experiences uh, mentally more than physically, but still. And anyway, I wanted to show that in a painting and, and instead of just showing like many different pictures of him and which people have done millions of times, I want to have a painting that can kind of talk to you and show you the different moods and characteristics of this person. So if you add like uh, different lights to this painting, the painting will show you different emotions of Philip K. Dick, which I'll show you in about a minute after I introduce here you go, Mr. Mr. Philip K. Dick. You can just chill right there. To my next painting of William Gibson. Oh man, William Gibson. If I can meet one living person right now, it would definitely be this guy. This guy is a phenomenal writer. He's written, um, well, you probably, maybe you haven't, but he wrote one short story uh, that became a movie called um, Johnny Mnemonic. And that movie was terrible. It was terrible. It was like Ice T was like a dog or something in it. I don't know. It's don't watch it. It's ridiculous. I think Kendall Reeves is in it. Yeah, he is. But um, he's written a lot of phenomenal books. He's written, um, let's see, Neuromancer. He's written uh, Count Zero, Mona Lisa Overdrive, uh, Virtual Light. Uh, he's written a lot of phenomenal books. And uh, God, this guy is amazing. This guy totally changed my life. When I was in high school, I'd read, which one was it? It was Count Zero. I'd read Count Zero over and over and over again. Yeah, this guy is great. It's a picture of him. It's, uh, it's a recent image of what he looks like. And uh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. And very similar to the Philip K. Dick painting, um, it changes color and uh, shows different moods and emotions with different kinds of light. And um, let's see, I'm gonna attempt it with a, uh, an iPhone, so I'm not sure how well that will turn out. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a little, uh, viewing of how these change with the different kinds of light. Now, when I do this, this light that I have is actually very, very powerful. So I'm going to have to try to look badass like the Terminator, I guess, with my sunglasses, my very, very cheap sunglasses. <laughs> All right. Hold on a okay, second. Here we go. I've got my cool glasses on and we've got my LED lights on. Um, this is a special LED light. Um, it's very powerful. That's why I'm wearing these uh, sunglasses because man, it is, it's just so bright. It's like all these little LED lights kind of put together in like this Canon kind of device. And uh, yeah, for nightclubs, it is fantastic. Um, for the home, it's actually pretty awesome too. Um, it's kind of expensive. I think about a hundred or $200. If you're interested in purchasing one, just send me an email and uh, put something in the comments and I'll let you know what it is and how much it costs or whatnot and stuff and where to buy one. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, without further ado, let's look at these paintings. Now, these paintings stand on their own with natural light. These paintings are absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I love them, I'm, I'm so in awe. I mean, that's it's so hard to make work where like when you finish, you're just like, uh, I think this is my masterpiece, oh Jesus. Because then once you say that or you feel that way, what are you gonna do next? So. Now I kind of have that dilemma. Um, anyway, so without further ado, here is Philip K. Dick with the special lights, special LED lights, and hopefully you guys can see it well. Okay, so here we go. Notice the emotions you can feel, Mo the emotions that it has. Wow, isn't that something? 
I love his beard. I think his beard is great. God, yeah, this is great. This might be the future of painting. I don't know. But this is really cool. This is really, really cool. I really like this. Boom. Okay. All right, Philip, you can rest right there. Okay, your turn, Mr. William Gibson. Here we go. Hopefully there's no reflection from this light. But yeah, isn't that great? Oh man, these are really cool. And the cool thing is, I mean, you can use any variety of uh, LED lights. I mean, you could have one that kind of fades like the one I do, or one that kind of like shuts off like red, blue, green, orange, or something like that. Or you could just have just one light on here. One light, I guess, would show one emotion, but still, it's still pretty cool. I really like just how it pops. Cool, right? Whoa. Awesome. So that's it. That's these two paintings, these, these cyberpunk paintings. God, they're absolutely amazing. What I like to do is I have them on my wall over there. I'm putting this on a video or something. I have them on my wall over there and I take this light, right? And I set the light right underneath it. So the light shoots up and it kind of, uh, it, I guess like illuminates both of these. And then I have my natural light on and the natural light doesn't necessarily combat uh, the LED light. In a way it kind of complements it. But uh, yeah, so I can have both lights on at the same time. So I could be like in my room working or reading or even watching YouTube or something like that. And uh, still, you know, look over and I'm like, oh, hey, Phil. Hey, Will. How's it going? Phil and Will. <laughs> Ooh, hey. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's really great. These paintings are really, really cool. Um, I'm definitely going to have to experiment more in this style. Um, God, I think, I don't know what I should do. I think possibly cities. I think cities are kind of like people. Cities are kind of have like different feelings and characteristics to them, you know, and, and two, no two cities are exactly the same. I mean, yeah, I mean, you think of like Chicago, New York, I mean, they're completely different. And then Chicago, Miami, oh man, forget about it. They're completely, completely different. And then you compare like Miami to, I don't know, maybe Berlin or Paris. Dude, Paris is its own universe. So yeah, I guess I could do something like that. That might be an idea. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys uh, posted. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, tuning into this video. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for supporting my work. Thank you for buying my work and buying my prints. Um, I've got an Etsy shop up. I've got a Red Bubble shop up. I've got a, a Sachi Art shop, a shop up. So I've got, uh, I'm all over the internet and stuff. So um, if you want any of my work, you can hit those three places up or just Google The Spilt Ink or go to thespiltink.com. I'm the one and only thespiltink.com. I've been the spilt ink for over 20 years and I'm gonna be the spilt ink for eternity until I guess like maybe so, there's So uh, I'm gonna be a painter doing this for a long time. The spilt ink is going to be here for a long time. If you're interested in buying anything or commissioning me to do anything, definitely contact me at thespiltink.com. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, I wanna say thank you to the glorious Minecrafter for gifting me this, this, this Stormtrooper character. And I'm going to paint this and make this pretty awesome. Uh, Glorious Minecrafter, what's up, homie? All right, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.